And here's the point Ava, I would make to people who don't really want to you know, say anything that remotely sounds pro-Israeli in all this, is <clears throat> Hamas knew exactly what they were doing. And if Iran were pulling the strings, so did they. When they launched a terror attack of that magnitude, they knew exactly how Israel would respond. And they knew thousands of innocent Palestinians would die in the attacks that were going to come back. How is that good leadership for the people of, of Gaza? Well, earlier today, I noted that the BBC have now changed their, their language around this. So they now say that Israel is at war with Hamas rather than Israel is at war with Gaza. Right. And I think that is a pretty good representation of the conflict. But what do you mean by me not saying anything pro-Israeli? Do you think that, that's no, no, something I you. would say? I'm not talking about you. No, no. I'm just saying that there's been a trend of people on the pro-Palestinian side that they don't even really want to condemn what happened on October the 7th. Well, that's they the very quickly want to move it. to criticism of Israel and their revenge attacks. But I, I just, I, you know, I'm, the moral maze for me is I agree that they should get rid of Hamas. Hamas are openly boasting about attacking them again and again and again. Only last week they said that, right? They make no bones about what they want to do. So Israel has to defend itself. And how else do you do it, frankly, than going in there and killing them? That's not something I can solve, but I mean, you know, you've got to think about the people who are living in the Gaza right. Strip, who are living under the regime of Hamas. But how else do you get rid of Hamas? Well, look, you don't just bomb the whole entire place. 10,000 Palestinians have died and you've killed 60 Hamas members. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. Surely there's a better way of actually handling these things. Surely. And of course, you need to take into consideration the amount of children that have died in Gaza. Gaza and children, 4,000. 4,000. The blood of these children are on the hands of Netanyahu and his regime. That's the reality. Now, of course, we can argue that Iran are, are backing and funding Hamas. So there are two players in this game. It's Hamas and Iran. And of course, any rational person is, is clearly going to be against, against these guys. Clearly. Me personally, I am. But like I always say, I understand why Hamas are here. Palestinians are fighting for their freedom. They've been doing it for 70 plus years. That's the reality. We all know that living in the Gaza right. Strip, who are living under the regime of Hamas. But how else are, do you get rid of Hamas? Well, look, that's not for me to answer, but I but do nobody, think it is, Nobody you know, who says they don't agree with it has an answer. But I do think there is, a, there is a huge, you know, argument here for Hamas being, you know, if they are actually sheltering in hospitals and ambulances, as the IDF claim, then the people who are also, the Gazan people who are, Palestinian people, excuse me, who are in those hospitals, they are under their rule, right? They, they, they well, are, so that's the point. I mean, I think that's an interesting them. point, Matthew. I mean, there's no doubt... I've seen interviews with Palestinians who are just fearful of saying anything against Hamas because Hamas is a terror group that terrorizes its own people. They terrorize innocent Palestinians. You know, they use them as human That's shields. Right. They deliberately use mosques and hospitals and schools as places for their operations. And they don't really care if innocent Palestinians die. This is true, but it's also worth taking a step back to understand that Iran is part of a rising autocratic axis, along with China, Russia, and North Korea. Right. Iran is sending drones to Putin. It is selling oil to China. China's buying discounted oil from Putin, mm. financing his war machine. Uh, North Korea is providing weapons mm. to Putin, getting nuclear secrets in return. One has to take a step back and understand the broader the context picture. in which this is unfolding. There is war in Europe. Yeah. And I think that if China, and it's not impossible, makes a move on Taiwan, yeah. there would be war in Europe, mm. there'd be war in the Middle East, and in the Indo-Pacific. Yeah. It is absolutely vital that the Western leaders understand the deeper dynamics yeah, yeah, around yeah. what's happening. Because one of the things that is unquestionably a consequence of Israel's overreaction is that it is polarizing Western societies. Yeah. And our ability to act in a unified way to preserve liberty, which is under threat from the Well, it's interesting about this whole debate, for example, about the march on Saturday. You know, there is a contradiction, you could argue, that a lot of people who shout loudest about free speech want to prohibit Palestinian people, Palestinian supporters, from marching on that day, which was a day which remembers the battle for freedom, including freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Well, hearing everything that Matthew just said there as well, do you not think that perhaps Suella Braverman trying to curtail the potential marches that are going on this weekend? I mean, it almost feels quite pure. Very, very interesting. Clearly, it's a very, very complex, multifaceted thing. The idea that Iran is actually backing Hamas as well. And the fact that Iran has a relationship with North Korea, with Russia, it's, it's very convoluted, isn't it? If you decide to completely exterminate Hamas, if Israel decides to somehow 
managed to do it then of course now we're gonna have to deal with iran right and i'm not a politician i don't know that region that much i don't know much about geopolitics so it's a bit hard for me to really delve deeply into it but it's yeah this is very very convoluted hamas are linked to iran iran is linked to north korea north korea is linked to russia it's like this crazy what is going on guys let's just hope this 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 war doesn't spread out to the rest of europe i really hope it doesn't Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.